Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In fact, this is one of my older videos that I decided to uh, uh, remake. In fact, uh, at, at the time I was only limited to only 10 minutes, so I wasn't really able to, uh, well, to show you everything that I wanted, but I hope to make it uh, this time. So, uh, what are DLLs? DLLs are very, very uh, similar to exe files. Exe files are meant to be run, meaning executed, but uh, DLLs, uh, DLLs are something like a, a source code uh, warehouse. It's, uh, it stores the source code that uh, can later be used by some exe files. Also, it can store components uh, and resources. Resources can be, for example, some uh, pictures, meaning bitmaps, icons, uh, even strings can be resources. Uh, and such. In fact, you have uh, in um, uh, at my channel you already have a video uh, that uh, demonstrates how to use DLL with resources. Uh, I believe it's a card game, so check it out. Okay, so let's create a dynamic link library. Uh, C++ start frame, framework none. Okay, so uh, once I created uh, this project, I'm going to save everything and. Uh, for that uh, purpose, I've created this folder, DLL test, and I'm going to create a new folder inside it, my DLL. Okay, and uh, inside that folder, I'm going to save my project. DLL test, my DLL, save. I'll call it uh, my DLL. Also, project options, and I will set the final output directory to dot and uh, C plus linker uh, link with uh, dynamic RTL is going to be unchecked, and runtime packages is also going to be unchecked. Well, this is because if you are going to use that DLL, this also applies uh, for exafast too. Uh, on some other computer that doesn't have a C plus plus builder or DEFA installed. Uh, when you uncheck these options, you will pretty much uh, put all dependencies inside the exe file, so it will be uh, independent. Okay, it will be uh, possible to execute everywhere. So uh, I saved it and I compiled it. Uh, this pretty much says that he didn't recognize any exe file to be using our DLL, meaning he didn't recognize any host, but that's not important for the moment. Uh, so I compiled our DLL project and what we can see here is the mydll.dll uh, that is uh, the place where the source code is stored and also uh, mydll.lib. This is a static library uh, that uh, is automatically generated when compiling this DLL and uh, it is used uh, when uh, you do static DLL linking, linking inside C++. Uh, we'll see what it is shortly. Uh, also, I recommend that you download and uh, run this application, Dependency Volker. It is free application and it, you can use it to, uh, to uh, well, to inspect your DLLs. For example, our DLL here, my DLL.dll. So, uh, our DLL uh, pretty much uses uh, two system DLLs. And when I click on my DLL, uh, it pretty much has, well, it's pretty much empty, right? Uh, this function is, uh, well, seamless. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a, a new function inside the DLL. Well, let, let it be function sum that sums two numbers. And return a plus b, compile. Okay, I return to dependency vocal and refresh, uh, and still it doesn't show our function sum. Why is it so? Well, DLL can contain functions that are visible to other applications, and uh, you can also uh, hide some functions if they are not needed to be visible. But uh, in order to make this function visible, we need to say declare specification and DLL export. Okay compile and now I refresh everything and here we are this is our function sum so uh, now the question is what are these uh, characters here well they pretty much describe the function meaning uh, uh, 
uh, return value and parameters okay but we are going to remove all this uh, info uh, how to remove that we simply specify extern c and uh, okay f5 okay so we remove this specification and now we still have this underscore uh, to remove the underscore we will say that this function uses standard calling convention okay refresh and now we see function sum why is it important to have a clear name uh, it is important because uh, later on if you are going to use a uh, runtime DLL linking then you need to know the function name and it's quite uh, messy to well to use the function name with uh, all these characters uh, before and after uh, so this is it and now I'm going to close this uh, project what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to create an application that is going to use this DLL that we just created and I'm going to create a C++ application and later, later on I will show you how to use this DLL in, for example, c .net application. Uh, to use uh, this DLL in C++ application, I will copy this DLL and lib. Uh, okay, so I'm going to create a new folder here, for example, my app. And I'll copy these two files here. Okay. So creating the new VCL forms application, uh, save everything, my application, project one, okay. And what I need to do is to say that uh, final output directory is dot. You can also use this uh, link with dynamic RTL exclude it and also exclude this uh, this will uh, these checkboxes will pretty much uh, put all dependencies in, put all dependencies in the exe file so you can run your exe file on every machine uh, by default you can only run this uh, in uh, on a machine that has C++ will reinstalled okay uh, but now we unchecked it so we can uh, use it everywhere we want compile So what I wanted uh, to achieve is that this project one exe is in the same folder as this lib and this DLL file. And this is it. So first thing I'm going to show you is uh, static DLL link linking. So static DLL linking is when uh, your application uh, requires DLL at the very beginning. Uh, when you run the application, it will not allow you to do anything if DLL is not present example uh, project add to project in order to uh, utilize static linking you need to add the lib file okay from your dll so this lib file pretty much contains uh, all info about functions that are stored inside the real dll so uh, this is nothing but let's say a description of your dll okay so once we added this uh, lib file into your application uh, you need to provide your application of function prototypes that are inside your DLL so let's see my DLL file one so this is the function that is inside DLL so I'll just copy paste the uh, I'll just copy the uh, prototype and paste it inside my application okay uh, you can avoid copy paste by creating a header file when creating DLL and inside header file you can always uh, create uh, these prototypes and simply include header file of your DLL inside your application. Uh, okay, so I have this prototype uh, of my DLL function and uh, I included my lib file to my application and now I simply need to call the function show message sum for example 4 and 7 11 so it 
networks. As you can see, uh, our application does not have the body of the function sum, it has the prototype, but the body is located inside this uh, DLL file. Okay, and that is why this application always needs DLL file when starting, uh, pretty much because we used this static linking, and static linking uh, is when you use this lib file. Okay. Now I, I renamed the DLL and started my application, but he says he cannot start because my DLL is missing, as you can see. So this is the static linking, like I said, DLL always must be present when running your application. Okay. So now it's okay. And uh, that is static linking. What is runtime linking? Runtime linking, uh, well, in runtime linking, you don't even need this lib file. Okay, so I'm going to exclude it and I don't even need the function prototype. Uh, it is useful to know what it is, but uh, what I'm going to use is uh, I'm going to use this part of the code. So this part of the code represents a runtime DLL linking. Uh, runtime DLL li linking uh, is when you load your DLL manually, you locate the function that you want to use manually and then call the function. And after you don't need it, uh, you simply free your DLL. Okay, it's nine, so four and five. Uh, as you can see, uh, we all, uh, all this stuff are uh, needed to do uh, manually. While in static linking, you don't need to load library, you don't need to find what is the procedure address. Uh, it is all automatically done because you included the lib file, meaning the static library from your DLL. But when using runtime DLL linking, you all uh, you, you need to do all this stuff manually. So don't forget it. Uh, so to summarize, uh, runtime linking is, uh, well, a bit more complicated. But the fact is, uh, when you run your application, your DLL is not needed at the very beginning. It's only needed, needed when you uh, call the function. Okay, so if you don't have uh, DLL here, I'll just rename it. And I'm going to call my application. As you can see, it cannot load DLL. It didn't uh, stop working at the very beginning. Uh, it just stopped working it just displayed the error when we needed the DLL. But when using static linking, you need the DLL from the very beginning. Okay, so that is uh, pretty much what the uh, static and runtime linking is. But also I would like to show you uh, how to use this DLL in other programming languages. So I'm going to uh, create a new project in C Sharp. File new solution. It's going to be a Windows application and uh, I prepared the folder, my DLL test for example. Okay, so I have the initial code here. I'm going to add a button. Uh, what I need is copy uh, at this line here. Okay, this line. Uh, also, I need to uh, specify the prototype of my function, sum, and these are the three lines that I uh, must add. So I'm going to import my DLL. Uh, this is some function and its prototype is here. And when I click the button, I will simply use this, okay? Uh, I didn't copy the DLL. Okay, he didn't found my DLL. Terminate. So I'll just copy our DLL. Copy, as I see, sharp. Uh, I think it must be here. 
Okay, so now it works. As you can see, uh, this is how we used uh, our DLL that was created in C++ Builder. Uh, it is used in, in C Sharp.net application. Well, uh, that's pretty much it. I believe uh, it is uh, well informative. <laughs> At least uh, you saw how to create a DLL, how to do static linking inside C++, runtime linking, what are the differences, and how to uh, reuse that DLL in some other programming languages. If you uh, have any questions, uh, please be free to ask. Thank you for watching and well, like always, see you next time.